Hi guys, I'm Savage Rob and this is Black Bass Fishing in France. Oh no, I'm still in Belgium and I have to drive 1200 kilometers towards France. Let's get to it then. I only have one thing on my mind and that is just catching one big black bass. It's just crazy how a certain fish can haunt you even when you've only seen videos of other people catching them. I'm meeting up with Alex and this is what you can expect to see in this episode of On The Hook Fishing. Do you see this spot? That's where the monsters are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. On the first morning we struggle our way through the rush hour and find ourselves arriving a bit later than we wanted to but actually it doesn't matter anyway because we're always talking about fishing during long car drives. Once arrived on the spot we inflate the boats, carry them towards the bankside and start talking about the game plan. So the plan is we're going to start getting into the water in this steeper spot. We're going to arrive on the, on the grass pod and try and go really steady into the grass pod, as discreet as we can to not spook the fish. Then we're going to arrive at 10-15 metres to the next deeper spot that's over there. And then from there we're going to start casting onto the edges of the grass pods and try and find some fish that are stacked in there. If it's not the case, we're going to start to get into the deeper part slowly and as discreet as we can so we don't spook the fish at all. And then we're going to start this V pattern and start casting on the left and on the right of the grass pods and the bank and try and find some fish. And I hope the lunker or two will come yeah. out of there. Let's go, see. let's try. Let's go. There's a nice one over there. Oh yeah. Where? Over there. There's a school of them. Yeah, there's a school. Cast over there. Cast over there. What? Yeah, right there. Exactly. Exactly. Look at It's on the ground. Got him. It's not a massive one. It's, it's a good. 30, 30 plus. It's good to start. Oh, it's a decent one. Okay, man. Calm down. Yeah, buddy. Inhaled. So we found a school of bass that was swimming along and uh, managed to catch this nice one. Nice little lunker. <laughs> On the wacky rig from Savage Gear. Nice. 41 centimeters. Let's go! Let's go! Oh yes, let's go! Oh, nice, 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 nice. Start. nice. Oh, my God. nice. So guys, as you can see, welcome to Black Bass Fishing in France. We're going all the way in. Hello, so we have to... Oh. Oh. Alex is just catching a fish. I will just show you this smaller bass. And then we're going to keep on hammering with the E-Rider and the belly boat. Yeah, boys, this is Black Bass Fishing. I will go from right. Oh yes, yes, let's go. Boys, this is unbelievable. Oh, it's a good pass. It's a good pass. It sure is a good pass, man. I have no clue what I'm doing. It's my... But it's stuck in the weeds. No, don't worry, don't worry. Really? Yeah, slowly. Yeah, oh yeah, he's a toad. He's a toad, man. He's a 45. Easy. So guys, I have absolutely no idea what's going on right now. Alex took me to one of his uh, favorite bass fishing spots and I really know why now. We were seeing this school of really big bass and I was actually not used to the way of fishing. But yeah, it's no weight, it's like the, the, the weightless worms. So you just let the worm wiggle down really slowly and before I even know it, I struck the rod. Okay. And this time it caught a massive fish. <laughs> <laughs> I think yesterday I drove for like 14 hours straight towards the southern part of France. After 14 hours he said like, are we going to fish or what? I was like, yeah, let's go fish. I caught my first smaller bass and I couldn't even believe what's in the net right now. We put it in the retainer for a small bit. Full of strength, very good condition. Massive Look fish. at this bass. 
The strength these fish have is unbelievable. I, I really can't imagine. It's almost 50 centimeters. It's like 49 centimeters, but I couldn't care less. Thank you, Alex, for this amazing experience. I think we're pleasure, one hour in in the first day. So I think there are going to be more bass, but you never know. We're going to enjoy this moment. What a way to start this trip. Normally it always takes until the last day to catch a really big one, but sometimes luck is on your side. Releasing this fish gives me an understanding of how special they actually are, but it didn't stop there. <laughs> no! Good face, buddy. Yep, man. Ooh. <laughs> At noon, approximately, we just had some. Uh, we just had a break. We had some good beers to celebrate my 49 centimeter bass, and we were talking about that the bass we see them cruising around the shallow areas, but at the moment they're really finicky, like uh, Alex likes to say, um, and we're trying to really try different combinations. And the lure that Alex hasn't tried is the craft crawler, and it's like an animal with a lot of paws. And I rigged it with just one single hook on the head part and I cast it towards the shallow areas, a little bit further away from the school, and I just saw the, the, the bass take the lure. I had said to Alex, just wait for one moment, I think a bass has it. Just take two times, bang, and I got it. I didn't have it on the GoPro, but I will show you guys, this is a really good fish again. Look at that, another mentally good bass. You see the craft crawler, it's a really nice lure. It has all these fringes on it, and I think bass really likes him. So let's unhook this beast. It's really weird to strike on bass if you have never fished for bass because you know they're on your lure and you have to hold yourself to not strike the rod too early. It's a 40, yeah, 43. 43. I will do what the Americans do. <sighs> Sniffing bass. go from spot to spot we really have to go in deep because it's filled with these weeds but it's still too deep I'm almost, almost not on the ground anymore ah, now it's deep what are you doing Alex? catching a toad <laughs> <laughs> catching a toad oh no look at his tail I think one. we're gonna go and have to get, get him, him. just free these while I'm fighting the other one <laughs> A little one. Let's go. A little I bit think you have another one, don't you? Yeah, and another one a bit <laughs> nicer. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Free, let's go. You are on fire, let's buddy. Go, man. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and secure this fish. Yeah, perfect. Your thing. I just got a really nice strike. It's not a big one, not at all but it was a smaller bass and it was just coming towards me and I felt the tap. It's really special to catch these fish. <laughs> Look, small one. It's actually a really small black bass, but it's really nice, cool looking fish. Oh, yeah, he's going for it. Yeah, 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 let's go. Unbelievable. I told you. On. Unbelievable, buddy. I hope you guys saw that really good because that was immense. I think this lake we left alone, the other lake was spooked. I was just talking to you guys about how those bass are completely spooked by that we are on there. I take my rod because Alex said the other lake can be that some of the fish are there. It's not that big, but just seeing it taking the bait with two bass, like they're competing against each other. Oh, 
we, we were going to just change lakes, as Rob said earlier on, and uh, it's the fourth fish. It's crazy, we don't even need to get the boats out, the fish are on the banks, full of stamina and in good shape. Let's go! When you haven't fished a certain lake and the bite went completely dead silent on the other one, it is really nice to just get some strikes. The second lake however didn't hold the amount of big fish like the first one, but just like all other fisheries, it is nice to actually get a bite. The smaller bass can go really crazy on a certain type of lure, so Alex and I took the opportunity to fill the afternoon with catching a whole lot of dinks, having a laugh on the other lake and just keep on hammering. Buddy. Yeah, no, nice fellas. Second day, street fishing day. Craft crawler doing the work. Alex already caught two. It's my first ever street bass, so uh, really cool. It's not the biggest one, but it's always nice to get some, yeah, some confidence in what you're doing. And uh, now we're going to chug it back and hopefully get, catch some other ones. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> He's really nice, yeah. Street bass, what the hell? We'll strike it and bam, 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 bam. Craft roller, they like it so much. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Oh, good hooks, sir. Good so. and deep. Hard, hard to get it out. Get out. Yeah, sir. <laughs> That's a real quality fish. Hey guys, so we're fishing in the canal today, street fishing, so I decided to put up a little Carolina rig with a craft crawler, a little twitching next to the boat, next to the banks, and this little lunker just came and smashed it. And really nice fight on the SG4, great, just pure fun. And now pure we're going to put him back. Let's go! Yeah, buddy. Pike, yeah. Nice no, no, no. That's yeah, buddies. Oh, we're Pikey. Kidding. We're kidding. That's a vicious little pikey. As you can see, the craft crawler, you can catch anything with it. They're not too picky on it. Just like Alex said, we are really skipping next to the boats because they're really in the on the bank side, not really on the deeper area. And I was just standing next to Alex, casted towards the boat, felt a really nice tap. I struck the rod in the first milliseconds I thought it was a, was a good bass. Ah, it's really nice fish, man. Good to be uh, in the pike game. Let's put her back. And she was actually really not hooked. Let's go. That's a nice one. Yes, sir. And that's a unit. Sucked it away. Stay your time. 
when you get a good hook set, oh, to take them out, eh? That's a proper fish. Fish. I think it's a pike. Yeah. Feels like a pike anyway. Oh, big bass! Big bass! Big bass! Big bass! Big bass! Really big bass. I think so. Yeah. Buddy, take your net. I think it's a big bass. I hope it's a big bass. What the hell? A chatterbait. Yeah, yeah. Big one. Yeah, massive. 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 You've got your 50 plus. You've got your 50 plus, buddy. What? Guys. Unbelievable. It's a slow bite, but Alex said just keep on hammering, try different lures. So that's what I did. We didn't try a chatterbait yet, so it's I was thinking like if they're really slow, trying to get them to give a reaction bite, and that's exactly what it did. On the chatterbait from Savage Gear, it's just a normal chatterbait, it does the job. I thought it was a pike at first because the fish took the lure and it going completely to the right. I couldn't do anything about it. I was like, Yeah, Alex, it's a pike. Not that I'm not glad with a pike, but this is just unbelievable when a big bass comes up, 46 centimeters. In the summer, look at the belly of that fish, it's unbelievable. And just like that, we ended our second day on a high. Such a crazy, unexpected big bass that I'll be remembering for a long, long time. We head home earlier than yesterday because the 34 degrees broke us both and we could both use a really cold shower. Guys, we're actually day three at the moment. We're really struggling, but we keep on hammering because we know that the fish are there. Uh, we first fished on a really cool lake for me. It was multiple lakes with the kayak, but uh, yeah, Alex only caught some uh, smaller black bass. We don't mind, but we knew that the big ones weren't biting. So we were going back to place number one and Alex already had to give away for two bigger fish, unfortunately, but this one I eventually took my worm. really cool just like 40 41 I guess doesn't matter it's a really cool looking fish oh he shook it out but I don't know because I don't even see the the school there's a fish It is not at all fun to lose so many big fish. So Alex started to cast around to try and catch what he thought that was a smaller fish, but actually it was not. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! 
Yes, sir! That's a fucking monster! Yeah, I thought it was a midget, but it was... Whoop! I saw his white mouth open. My lord, disappear! This is the exact example of why you always should keep casting no matter what. Most of the times it is just the switch that has to turn on with fishing. In the last few hours I managed to catch one better fish. <laughs> go, 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 pull, 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 pull. Nice bass, nice yeah? bass, yeah, nice bass. Very nice bass. Then Alex really started to get in his element and started catching one good fish after one another. Cash is really healthy. Like, thanks guys for watching my adventure in France. I hope you really enjoyed this as much as I did. See you next time. <laughs>